There are so many books are there which I have left, but I will tell you later on. Because it is related to some writers as well as the rulers. Okay, this book was compiled like Kalhan, Ras Tarangani, written in which period? Right? Some of the important books was compiled during Pallavas, during Harsavardhan. So I will tell you there. Because that is the literary development during that ruler or period. Right? Now, there is one important site of the Mesolithic age which is known as Bagor. Just Bagor is a site, an important site. It is in Hilwala district, Rajasthan. And we have got one evidence from here, earliest evidence of, earliest evidence of domestication of animals. In India subcontinent, we have got the earliest evidence of domestication of animal and which animal? No, not dog here. Actually, we in the beginning, we are domesticating animal which is quite easy to domesticate. Yes or no? And goat is very easy to domesticate. Simple living, high thinking. It is the nature of the goat. A simple animal, yes or no? You need not panic for something, yes or no? If you want milk, you can take milk. If you fed up with the milk, then slaughter. Okay. So, earliest evidence of domestication of animal in India subcontinent, we have got from Bagor. And which animal? Goat. Right down. Bagor. Bagor, write down. Location, write down. Bhilwada, district Rajasthan. Bhilwada, district Rajasthan. Evidence is write down. Earliest evidence of domestication of animal. Earliest evidence of domestication of animal in bracket write down which animal goat. There is also one more site Sarai Nahar Rai. Right down. Sarai Nahar Rai. So that site belong to which period? Mesolithic period. The location is Pratapgarh district UP. Pratapgarh district UP. Right? Evidence write down. From here we have got bone tools. Bone tools. Right? We have got some tools which was made by bone. Still today we are using bones. Yes or no? I will tell you later on. In many products we are using the bones of animals, right? Another is we have got also burials. Burial means the dead body was disposed in the ground. I will tell you there is a three burial system was famous in Harappa civilization, right? Complete burial, fractional burial, post cremation ceremony, right? I will discuss you in Harappa civilization. So, these are the two important sites, Bagor and Sarai Nahar Rai. Have you written about the qualities, uh, characteristic of Mesolithic period, right? We have done now? Yes. Now, write down Neolithic period. Neolithic period. Just listen. By coming to Neolithic period, the human being 
said to the nature goodbye. And now they started to develop their own resources. They started to develop their own resources. Here hunting is there, gathering is there, domestication. A domestication here is perfect domestication of animal. Not only this thing, but even one more thing was added there that is making pottery. Why making pottery? Because they started the development of agriculture, the storing of the grains, the storing of the grains. In this one, not only this thing we have developed a pottery and pottery we are going to make on wheel. Okay, we started on wheel, but still today we have no knowledge about iron. Another is perfect knowledge about fire. If the question asks in which period the fire had been discovered by human being, so the, it is said that in the end of Paleolithic age, fire discovered. Okay, in the end, okay. But Mesolithic period frequently we started to use fire and perfect knowledge of fire during Neolithic period. So earlier we were eating raw meat, now we started roasted. Now we started cook nahi kar rahe hain, to roast kar rahe hain, right? How many of you like roasted? Chicken no? Mutton bhi? Don't eat. Here is not vegetable they are using. Usually, usually non veg. Usually non veg. So now they said to goodbye to the nature. This word Neolithic, this was used for the first time by a British historian and his name is Lubbock. He was the first man to use this word Neolithic and his book, book name is Prehistory. He was the first one to discover this word, and most of the sites were discovered by in the beginning by British historian. And when Karjan, Lord Karjan came, so Lord Karjan in 1904 he set up one department that is an archaeology department. Lord Karjan, you know, partition of Bengal, if you remember, yes or no? So he was the man one who set up in 1904 archaeology department. Then proper way, slowly, slowly, slowly excavation of the sites has been started to excavate by the different historians. Okay. So in this page, we are completely started to be settled. There are so many. Another is not only about Neolithic period, this thing, but one more thing, we started to live in a village community. Village? Community. Such type of tendency has been started to be developed in Neolithic period. We are more making pottery. We started to make pottery, but we are not using color. We are not using color. I will also tell you in next topic which color human being in India subcontinent started to use color. In the beginning, which color we started to use. And I will compare by today modern age. Because I have said you in many, every time in my class. That every 20 years, all the four things are going to be changed. What? Social life, political life, economic life and religious. There will be a great change. Earlier your father kaise khate te, pite te, ghumte te, pahente te, yes or no? Ab kaise challa hai? 20 years baad kya hone wala hai? Right? Write down. Firstly, write down. New means new. Lithic means stone, new stone age. Still we are using stone but revolution is there. Still today we are using mobile but see the features of the mobile. Yes or no? Our money is there, we can talk, every feature is there. What will be the next thing about to come? Nobody knows. Yes or no? Might be a chip will be fit here. And Elon Musk company. Yes or no? working on this thing that they are going to install one chip in your brain. Okay, write down. New means new, lithic means stone. Write down the features. Number one, perfect knowledge of domestication of animal.
perfect knowledge of the domestication of animal second practice of agriculture practice of agriculture manufacture of pottery wheel was discovered in this period wheel w h double e l wheel was discovered in this period next greater control over nature one note write down one note wherever i said a note so note means this question is very very important what pt in upsc 2000 2023 fourteen question has been asked related to indian history and most of the question do you know it is associated with either ancient india or culture most of the question okay time to time i will tell you this question asked in this year this question has been asked in this year so that you can also compare and the way the upsc is asking okay the way the upsc is asking write down this note neolithic term neolithic term given by john lubbock here i am writing john lubbock in his book prehistory in his book prehistory another note write down perfect knowledge of fire perfect knowledge of fire in bracket you must write down fire has been discovered in in paleolithic age and the end of paleolithic age and the end of paleolithic age see that there is evolution in everything am i right or wrong see how we were cooking food earlier in open courtyard we were cooking food by yes or no now the by the the gas cylinders came yes or no now gas pipeline entered yes or no the evolution is always there is always evolution and in different ways and that depends on your status yes or no that depends on your status now write down important sites these sites are very very important all the sites whatever i am telling you which is related to neolithic age number 1 mehargarh mehargarh बलूचिस्तान पाकिस्तान एडम एविडेंसेस वन टू थ्री फोर देर आर मेनी एविडेंसेस ऑफ मेयर नंबर वन अर्लीएस्ट साइट ऑफ न्यूलिथिक एज अर्लीएस्ट साइट ऑफ न्यूलिथिक एज next cattle and sheep domestication cattle and sheep domestication evidences of wheat and barley this is the two grain started to be cultivated by the humans wheat and barley mud houses 
and in bracket write down this is the first site mud house is in bracket this is the first site where the human being started to live in houses this is the first site mehargarh which is in baluchistan pakistan where the human being started to live in houses first time otherwise earlier under the tree on the tree in the caves still today many people live yes or no you, you can go and see in the villages area even tribal areas still today the people live and survive there and their food and means resources absolutely depend on nature okay second there are some more things are there from meher got discovered that i will tell you in culture okay because some other things we have also discovered at meher got next is koldi hawa t o l d i keo sorry koldi hawa just one question from the online the last line of mehargarh was the mehargarh was the first last one site where the human being started to live in a mud house this is the earliest place in india subcontinent first place where the human being started to live in a mud houses okay koldi hawa location write down location near प्रयागराज अर्लियर इट वॉज इलाहाबाद द नेम वॉज चेंज बाई एवरीबडी ने सनो अर्लियर इट वॉज नेम इज प्रयागराज सो हु चेंज इलाहाबाद हु चेंज इलाहाबाद अर्लियर अर्लियर इट वॉज प्रयाग ओनली सो हु चेंज इट द नेम एज इलाहाबाद मुगल एम्पर अकबर चेंज द नेम ऑफ प्रयाग एज ए इलाहाबाद लिख लेना कई साइड पे तो हिस्ट्री रिपीट ऐसा ना कोल्डी हवा राइट डाउन एविडेंस अर्लिएस्ट एविडेंस ऑफ अर्लिएस्ट एविडेंस ऑफ राइस earliest evidence of rice in india subcontinent this is the first place from where we have discovered rice so ganga yamuna dwab is very famous for rice okay rice cultivation next is chopni mando Chopni Mando, location write down. Location, evidence, and site very very important in these three chapters. Chopni Mando same location near Allahabad, near Prayagraj, near Prayagraj. Evidence write down. Earliest evidence of. earliest evidence of pottery in the whole world not only in india wherever in the whole world i will tell you the mention whole world incredible india yes or no this is the first place in whole world a human being started to make pottery first place chopni mando chopni mando next is this site is most important fourth number site is very very important so wherever i said you important no make a star my star bana dena okay the site name is 
बुर्जा होम साइट नेम इज बुर्जा होम बुर्जा होम लिटरी मींस प्लेस ऑफ बर्च बर्च जानते हो आप लोग हैव यू सीन ट्री द आउटर लेयर ऑफ द ट्री इज बर्च उसे बर्च कहते हैं ठीक है प्लेस ऑफ बर्च लोकेशन नियर श्रीनगर नियर श्रीनगर एविडेंसेज नंबर वन पिट ड्वेलिंग एविडेंस इज पिट ड्वेलिंग पिट मीन्स they used to make a they used to dig the ground as a pit and they were living there why they were living in a pit kuch to maza kuch to maza aata hoga yes due to climatic region due to climatic region they were living in a pit okay another is a domestic dog A domestic dog, 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 dog. A domestic dog was buried along with the master. Was buried along with the master. What it indicates? A man was buried along with the dog. A uh, dog. ये दोनों तो एक साथ मरे नहीं होंगे. Yes or no? Who was first died, dog or master? So why the dog was buried? I mean, this means it indicates that the concept of life after death. The human being started to believe in such kind of concept. So who will give company? Family members will not give. No family member said, "No, no, no. I will come, but later." So alive, definitely male man was died. Alive dog was buried. I will give you many examples of such type of evidences that a person was buried along with sometimes dog, sometimes goat, sometimes sheep, and many other things. And still today, we people believe in. Life after, no. I will give you many things. In coming chapters, I will tell you some examples. कि ऐसा होता है, नहीं होता है. Yes or no? You also curious the. कि सर ऐसा होता है कि नहीं. Yes or no? और अगर होता है तो इसका पता कैसे चलेगा? Am I right? तो मैं कुछ चीजें बताऊंगा तो करना आप लोग देखना होता है कि नहीं है. Because history is means I have to know. I have the curiosity to know. कि is it the system exist or not? Okay, the system exist or Not okay. Now, so this Burja home is there. We have got pit dwelling from here as well as a dog was buried along with the master. Next is next site. Kuf Karal. Kuf Karal. Location near Sri Nagar. evidence same evidence one evidence common that is pit dwelling and we have got three grains here evidences of three grains it means the people at srinagar or kashmir area started to cultivate these three grains and they are very familiar with these grains okay one is wheat parle and lentil lentil you know dal it means these peoples were very familiar with this thing 
and we have got the first evidence of lentil from here. First evidence, lentil. How many sites we have written? One more site. Iran. One more site, Chiran. Achha, one thing. Uh, Gufkaral literally means, literally Gufkaral means cave of Porter. Gufkaral literally means cave of Porter. These all names have been given by historians. Okay, it is not that that Gufkaral site is there and name notice board was written better. This is Gufkaral, this is Mohanjodado, this is Harappa, this is Lothal, this is Roparno. These all names were derived by historians. Okay. Iran, location write down. Chapara district, where is it? Bihar. Chapra district Bihar. Okay. Evidence. From here we have got one evidence that is a bone tools. As well as wheat, barley. Lentil as well as rice. UPSC can ask the question like this way. From which of the following site we have not got the evidence of wheat? So they can give you four sites. Or they can ask you one side site, other side evidence match the following. Or they can also ask like this way, they will give you four sites, four evidences which is incorrectly match, which is correctly match. Okay. Earlier UPSC asked in one question, one question. Am I right? Now UPSC is asking in one question, four question. Okay. So the trend and be changed absolutely. Okay. One question, four question. So these micro details must be learned. Okay. So what is the first site in Paleolithic? Paleolithic Bhimbetka. Mesolithic site? Bagor and Sarai Nahar Rai. Neolithic site number one? Mehargarh. Number two? Koldi Ava. Number three? Chopani Mando. Number four? Burjaum. Number five? Number 6, Chiran. Okay, 2 minutes I have given you, just learn and tell me immediately. Those who learn firstly, raise your hand. Just 2 minutes. I will ask the site, you will tell the evidence. I will ask the site, you will tell the evidence. Those who learn, raise your hand. One gift is there. Gift will be tomorrow. Ufkaral literally means cave of porter. Cave of porter. Porter means kumhar. Those who make, those who are making potries. Yes, Ikaji, maybe you are, you are telling them maybe the person love his dog, so he met him in. So, but how you will know this thing? Because there is no literary sources. Yes, I know. Huh, definitely, it is not guaranteed that uh, after life where we are going. Yes, I know. In which world we are going? Yes, I know. Nobody knows this thing. Learn, anyone? Yes. What's your name? 
मेहरगढ़ कैटल एंड सीप डोमेस्टिकेशन वन मोर एविडेंस टेल बुर्जा होम बुर्जा होम पिट डवेलिंग कोई नहीं कोई नहीं चिरांत नन इन चिरांत वी हैव नॉट गॉट पिट डवेलिंग हाँ ओके and uh, from where we have got the earliest evidence of pottery goldi ho topni mando chalo bhai from where we have got the earliest evidence of rice goldi ho earliest evidence of pottery domestic dog was buried along with the master from where we have got the bone tools चिरान एज वेल एज वन मोर प्लेस आई सेड यू सराय नाहर राय ठीक है तो दिस इज द एंड ऑफ दिस चैप्टर प्री हिस्ट्री राइट नाउ ऑलवेज स्टार्ट न्यू चैप्टर विद न्यू पेज आई विल टेल यू द लेटर ऑन द वाई आई एम टेलिंग यू दिस थिंग ओके स्टडे मतलब लास्ट टाइम आई सेड टू एवरी वन स्टूडेंट प्लीज राइट इन दिस फॉर्मेट Some students are writing like this way, only one side lining. No, कितनी कितनी कंजूसी करोगे भाई? इतना पैसा लगा लिए तो दो चार पैसा और लगा लो. No, UPSC format. Okay, make like this way. Feel that yes, you are about to appear. नहीं, you are about to crack. Okay. Now the next chapter is. चालकोलिथिक एज चालकोलिथिक एज एविडेंस मीन्स अंजुम जी एविडेंस मीन्स फ्रॉम वेयर वी हैव डिस्कवर्ड समथिंग वहां पे क्या पाया गया राइट देर आर मेनी थिंग्स हैव बीन डिस्कवर्ड बट हिस्टोरियंस आर टेलिंग वट आर द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट ओके वट आर द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट ओके चालको लिथिक नॉ स्टॉप रोटिंग जी चालको मीन्स कॉपर एंड लिथिक मीन्स स्टोन so the first metal discovered by human being is copper first metal is copper that's why this period is known as chalcolithic period <clears throat> after discovering copper what will be the next metal discovered by human being no iron is not easy to ah uh, one by one go sir sir After copper, we have discovered tin. See, we are trying to discover according to our need. Need is the mother of invention. Need is the mother of invention. Okay, it is your need. That's why you are here. And it is my need. I am here. Yes or no? Everyone needs force the people to work for that thing. Yes or no? And automatically our body start to work. So see, first is copper, then tin, and with the alloy of these two metal, we have discovered another metal that is bronze. Because we want to make such type of metal, we should be uh, very easy to carry, and we should be very powerful. We should be powerful as well as effective. And bronze come. You know, iron is not going to be discovered easily. i will tell you when iron discovered who was the first which country was the first which tribal group were the first to discovered which place in india first discovered iron because iron ore is hematite and it is not easy to get the ore of hematite from the earth it is not easy okay so it has taken 1000 years for the first time 
वी हैव डिस्कवर्ड आयरन इन थाउजेंड बी सी फ्रॉम उत्तर प्रदेश फ्रॉम उत्तर प्रदेश वी हैव डिस्कवर्ड दिस साइट आई विल टेल यू द साइट नेम ओके इट हैज पास सो मेनी इयर्स तो वी हैव डिस्कवर्ड ब्रॉन्ज दैट्स वाई द चालकोलिथिक पीरियड इज ऑल्सो नोन एज ब्रॉन्ज एज अनदर एज सी वी आर मेकिंग पोट्री ये सर नो बट वी आर नॉट यूजिंग कलर and it is the human tendency we are very aesthetic okay we always want to beautify something so we started to discover some kind of color so in this period we started one color to use on pottery and this color is what this pottery is particularly known as p r w okay b r w p r w means black on red wear black on red wear means black on red wear means the pottery man lo ye pottery hai suppose so outside black red color and inside black color so for the first time the human being started with two color black and red That's why this period is also known as B R W phase. B R in ancient India, throughout ancient India, we have used four types of pottery. That I will tell you after this chapter. Only after this chapter, B R W, B G W, N B P, and O C P. Four types of pottery we have used. B R W. See, Chalcolithic is a very big period. It is not only one small period. ओके मोस्ट ऑफ द स्टूडेंट कंफ्यूज इन दिस वन कि आफ्टर चालकोलिथिक हरप्पा के नो चालकोलिथिक इज बेसिकली अ सेट ऑफ मेनी थिंग्स अ सेट ऑफ मेनी थिंग्स ओके इन दिस वन हरप्पा सिविलाइजेशन कम सीवेन ओके हरप्पा सिविलाइजेशन पीरियड इज ट्वेंटी थ्री हंड्रेड टू सेवनटीन हंड्रेड फिफ्टी बीसी even after the decline of harappa civilization there are many culture has been developed in different areas of india okay after harappa civilization there is one culture has been developed in maharashtra which is known as jorave culture what is the name it is in maharashtra malwa culture that is in madhya pradesh ahar culture That is in Rajasthan, Tawalda culture. That is in Maharashtra. Okay, so different types of culture has been developed in different different areas, and these cultures are very specifically famous for potteries, especially famous for potteries. You know, that time a person or family one who has a pottery status symbol, V V I P. It means, आप देखो ऐसे आप किसी के घर को देख कर बता सकते हो कि बंदा कौन भी है वी वी आई पी है ओके हाउ गो इन हिच किचन ऐसा नो ओनली बाई सींग द किचन यू कैन से हाउ मच मनी ही हैड मॉडुलर किचन मार्बल डिफरेंट थिंग्स ऐसा नो इवन वट एवर द थिंग्स आर देयर इन द किचन यू कैन जज क्यों ये तो बहुत धनी आदमी है सिंपल गो देयर इट मीन्स इन दैट टाइम पीरियड Pottery is a status symbol. Pottery is a status symbol. Everybody see the poor person pottery. Am I right or no? Now, poor person kitchen, middle person kitchen, higher middle person, upper upper middle. Yes or no? Everyone kitchen is going to vary. Everyone kitchen is going to vary. It is showing what? status symbol it is a status symbol right the same age in that time period pottery is very very important so see after harappa civilization declining different areas different civilizations culture has been developed i have already said you culture and civilization has a different thing every culture cannot be called civilization civilization has a names humanity names okay ethical names ओके एम्पेथी नाम्स दीज आर द नाम्स ऑफ सिविलाइजेशन ही आर सी इज गोइंग टू बी कॉल्ड सिविलाइज्ड
okay civilized okay so these are the culture has been developed in different different areas so that's why chalcolithic period is also known as brw phase harappa civilization is also called as a bronze age civilization harappans know every metal but harappans do not know iron only iron they don't know otherwise every metal they have discovered they were using frequently they were using all the metal see so we started to use number 1 color we started to use in this phase number 2 two, different types of village community started earlier we were living in a jungles now we started to develop village village area even the roots started to be developed there okay third is we started to worship the nature also here is started we have started because whatever the harappans worshiped is still today it is in practice of hinduism yes or no most of the things in the practice of hinduism that we will discuss in harappa civilization chapter okay another is we have got the greater control over nature more and more control about nature by coming to this chapter okay write down pehle ye likh lo chalcolithic age Calcolithic. Yes. See one minute. You are telling now that this thing is coming after this thing. Actually, this is a period of evolution, and this was put by the historians because here before it we were not using metal, right? Here we started metal. So after Neolithic, which chapter comes? Calcolithic. then separately see separately we will discuss harappa although harappa is a part of chalcolithic but actually harappa is a very important chapter okay because we are studying according to upsc also no not to become an historian as yes no historian to is banne ke baad hi ban jayenge abhi to pehle is ban jao right so firstly write down chalco means copper Chalco means copper, and lithic means stone. Lithic means stone. The first well-known metal the first well-known metal discovered by human being discovered by human being was copper was copper the gemmas right like this way with the help of copper like this way and tin we have discovered bronze bronze right please make this diagram this it is a set of many things chalcolithic period is a set of many things many subject many cultures many other things so make a round circle and then write down harappa civilization after declining of harappa civilization dorve culture maharashtra malwa culture madhya pradesh this can be asked in pt exam dorve culture maharashtra malwa culture madhya pradesh ahar culture rajasthan swalda culture maharashtra kayath culture madhya pradesh it can ask in upsc match the following this ahar culture is also known as here i am writing panas culture swalda s a v a l s a v a l d a swalda ahar is also known as banas culture 
कायत मध्य प्रदेश कायत इजे मध्य प्रदेश एस ए वी ए एल डी ए सवालदा कल्चर ओके टाइम पीरियड ऑफ हरप्पा आई हैव ऑलरेडी सेड यू ट्वेंटी थ्री हंड्रेड टू सेवनटीन हंड्रेड फिफ्टी बी सी इवन आई विल डिस्कस यू दिस पीरियड टाइम पीरियड की सर इज इट करेक्ट दिस वन सो आई विल डिस्कस यू इन हरप्पा नेक्स्ट चैप्टर महाराष्ट्र See among all the culture. See this chapter we will discuss in a separately, right? Separately. Write down the characteristic of Chalcolithic age. Characteristic of Chalcolithic age. Number one. Huge of painted pottery. Painted. We started color no painted pottery that is write down that is P R W B R W second cultivation of B R W black on red ware cultivation of both both kharif and rabi crops earlier we were we have started agriculture but we do not know seasonal crops but here we have developed seasonal crop and today what we are doing throughout year every product you can get it yes or no biotechnology yes or no biotechnology even australia australians are also producing mango earlier they were not able to produce but nowadays they are also producing mango okay harif and ravi crop and now our, our target is mars planet by terra farming yes or no have you heard about terra farming okay through this technology we will go there through this technology we will go there and we we start farming and do you know which product is going to be produced there will cultivate bamboos firstly bamboos they are going to okay so see evolution how evolution is going on next third point beginning of social gatherings beginning of social gathering one note write down wherever i said note it means very very important okay to so see that among so many cultures are there ahar is there banas is there malwa is there kayat is there one question can be asked among all this culture which is very important important regarding what important regarding social political okay in this one definitely highly developed like so many cities we have but some cities are metro city some cities are smart city yes or no some cities are highly developed same as comparatively all the culture doorway culture is highly developed which is in maharashtra right see everyone cultures time period is not important but doorway culture time period i will definitely write 1400 to 700 bc means just a minute just minute it means this period basically belong to later vedic period yes or no we were later uh, sorry rigvedic period rigvedic period is start from 1500 to 1000 bc it means the culture which is developing in the maharashtra region contemporary to vedic period okay so the question can be also asked like this way which of the following statement is incorrect regarding jorave culture okay now 
so that you can judge by revision of your copy no you can correlate everything right from your way culture it is a highly developed comparatively all the cultures okay we have got two sites an important sites which is associated with your way number 1 Dhamabad, just a minute. Dhamabad. Number two. Inam Gaon. Number two is. It is near Nasik. And it is near Pune. Okay, from here Dhamabad, we have got four bronze objects. We have got four bronze objects. These two sites are very, very important. UPSC has many times asked this one. Dhamabad. Number one, we have got four bronze objects elephant, tiger, rhino, and fourth is a chariot. Chariot, you know? Chariot. Four bronze objects we have got. Okay, four bronze objects from Dhamabad. It means that. Frequently, they started to make some kind of tools as well as some amusement object from which metal? Bronze. Am I right or wrong? Maybe they were believing that the prosperity will come by these things. Yes or no? Such type of tendency we have also. Yes or no? Am I right or wrong? Am I right or wrong? Paris hone lagyegi. Am I right or wrong? And we do, yes or no? We also do something. Okay. It means these people started to believe in such kind of thing. Number two, Inam Gaon. This is the first site where the human being started to live in a fortification. Fortification, you know? Boundary wall. They started to make boundary wall. When you will become IS, you will get this facility. Yes or no? Boundary wall will be there. By seeing any one boundary wall, you can judge who is VIP, who is simple. Yes or no? When you will become IS, boundary wall will be there. Yes or no? Some are thinking. Big gate will be there. Name plate will be there. Two guard will be there. Two dogs will be there to protect you. Yes or no? As your level will increase, Malo secretary ban gaya, achche level pahunch gaya, boundary wall will increase or decrease? Decrease. So as your status will increase, boundary wall will also increase. Here, Inam Gaon was the first site where the people started to live in a fortification. They used to make a fort along with moat. Do you know what is moat? Moat is a deep defensive ditch. Deep defensive ditch. See, I made fortification, then I made a ditch. Here, I made a ditch. Okay? Now, if we make a ditch, how will we go to the ditch? No. There is definitely some definitely some ways are there. And in the evening and the night, they used to close it. Have you seen Red Fort? You have seen no? Ditch is there. That is called moat. So, earliest evidence of fortification along with moat we have discovered from all the forts in India. Even British East India Company, when they came here and whenever they are establishing their factory, they were making moat. And the issue with Sirajud Dola was just the dispute between British East India Company and Sirajud Dola was started on this issue, moat. And that's why battle of Plassey took place. Because Siraj Udawla said, it was not allowed in my territory to make moat. We are not allowed to dig any place. Okay, Achha, why they are making moat? For security, very good. Security from whom? Yes, because dense forest is there, wild animals are there. So first target is animals. And nowadays we are making boundary wall for what? Security from? Human. Dekho, journey kaha se chalu hoi thi, kaha pe aage. Uh, now we are, now we fear from human beings. Humans are killing humans. Where is civilization? 
The journey was started from where and where we have reached. Everybody is thirsty of the blood of human being. Okay. And we are saving our boundary. Ab to save bhi nahi kare. Camera lagaye ja rahe. See the terror. Yes or no? Camera. Everywhere camera. Yes or no? Even in the inside of the home camera. Each and everything we are watching. Am I right or wrong? See how much we are very fearing. So the journey started here. Now it has reached. The first fortification we have got from? Inam. Okay. Write down. Norway culture, write down, most advanced culture, note, note, in note, firstly write down Jorve, Jorve culture, year write down, 1400 to 700 BC, yes, one student is asking online, okay, sir, kindly tell me about the fortification with mode, yes, Mr. Agho, oh, yeah, basically fortification is this one, boundary wall, Along with the boundary wall moat, a deep defensive ditch. I mean, deep defensive ditch means gadde khodna, right? And then, usually it is filled with water. Have you seen Agra fort? Anybody? Anybody has seen Agra fort? Ne Fatehpur Sikri. Fatehpur Sikri is not fort. That was city. Tha. New city was made by Akbar. Fatehpur Sikri was not fort. Fort means boundary wall, big boundary wall and must be surrounded by some boundary wall big. Agra fort if you have seen, you must see if you, whenever you are going. The Mughal Emperor Akbar, one who led the foundation of Agra fort, he make a deep defensive ditch. And in the ditch, what? Water? No. 5,000 nahi, 5,000, Five thousand lions and tigers are roaming, always, okay, always, because it means that earlier we were favoring from animals, now we started to fear from Invasions. Okay. So, Mughal Emperor Akbar, he kept more wild animals in this ditch. Okay. Chalo. Yes, 1400 to 700 BC. Most advanced culture. Most advanced culture. Important site tied down. Important site. Number one, Dhamabad, Dhamabad, near Nasik, Near Nasik, evidence write down, evidence of four branch object, elephant of four branch, of, sorry, evidence of four branch object, number one, elephant, tiger, अभी कामा लगा के ना लिखो one two three four करके लिखो four object means whenever telling four तो so four को count कराओ okay four object elephant tiger rhino and chariot UPSC can also ask that which of the object was not found from Dhamabad okay which is the heaviest one Mughal four very good very good, but not correct. Elephant. Weightage. Object weight. Elephant weight is not. Elephant object weight. 64 kg. The heaviest one is elephant. Now write down Inam Gaon. Inam 
इनाम गांव नियर पुणे एविडेंस राइट डाउन अर्लीएस्ट एविडेंस ऑफ earliest evidence of fortification fortification along with moat along with moat please make this diagram moat is a this one this is a moat means a deep defensive ditch fortification along with moat all the forts whatever the forts in ancient and medieval period even british in modern age they made the fort like this way east india company all the factories or whatever portuguese dutch whatever they are coming they are making factory like this way so this is the end of chalcolithic period 2 minute i have given you if you have any question queries you are requested to ask me and then we will enter in the very important chapter onwards harappa civilization in harappa civilization onwards all are very important chapter. Ah, there is a because you know inside of the black it is said that they use suppose they are putting something grain or whatever things are no so if it is going to be uh, rotten or something they immediately the color will come then they will not eat it that's why they were using otherwise they can put also red but red cannot be identified easily outside red and then inside and this is also they want to beautify anything अब देखो हम लोग का किचन में आप जाओगे तो किसी के घर में एल्यूमिनियम का बर्तन मिलेगा किसी के घर में स्टील का मिलेगा किसी के घर में नॉन स्टिक मिलेगा ऐसे नो दैट डिपेंड्स ऑन स्टेटस आपके घर में है नॉन स्टिक तो इसका मतलब बट आई विल टेल यू साइंटिफिकली लेटर ऑन which product is still today because my it is my duty not telling history but what is good and what is dono ko identify bhi to karna hai is sir isko nahi karna hai it is highly dangerous to ye kaam to hum nahi karenge okay now we are entering in very important chapter that is harappa civilization हरप्पा सिविलाइजेशन लेट मी टेल यू देन आई विल डिक्टेट दिस थिंग जस्ट मिनट हरप्पा सिविलाइजेशन इज ऑल्सो वेल नोन एज इंडस वैली सिविलाइजेशन Why it is known as Indus Valley Civilization? One person, raise your hand, raise your hand. Huh? But not all the sites are present on the bank of River Indus. Few only sites are on the bank of River Indus. Actually, why it is known as Indus Valley Civilization? Because most of the sites on the bank of River Indus are its tributary. it's a tributary and this name harappa why harappa because this is the first site where this civilization was discovered that's why it is harappa and this name was advised by one british historian sir his name will come again and again in ancient india he is a very renowned historian sir john marshall 
His name will come again and again. Sir John, he was the man when we advised this name. Now there is a big question. Okay, sir, who discovered this site? So who discovered the Harappa civilization? Nobody discovered Harappa civilization. By chance we have discovered Harappa civilization. Actually what happened? In 1826, in 1826, there is one man, his name is Charles Mason. He is a basically a British traveler. So, he visited many parts of India. So, when he passed from this uh, many sites, many ways by chance, so he advised that might be there is some kind of civilization. He just said, okay, 1856, when there was a railway line, railway line between Karachi and Lahore, was going to lead. This overall railway line is started in India in 1853. Yes or no? Yes or no? So, railway line is going to lay down between Karachi and Lahore. So, there was a need of, need of stone, mud, bricks. So, they started to dig some places over there for the mud and stones. And during this digging, this civilization came in limelight. Okay, means yes, they have realized that yes, there is a some kind of a sites over there. Okay, one question, student, Uja ji, I will tell you megalithic culture later on. Megalithic culture. There is a one culture also megalithic that I will tell you along with Sangam age. Okay, Sangam age. 1856. So, they discovered this one, but excavation had been not started. You know very well, after 1856, 1857 took place, revolt of an whole empire, British empire, you know, got the threat from the Indian peoples. Massive revolt by the Indian people. So, there is no, no excavation, nothing is there. Finally, when 1904 Lord Curzon came, he made an archaeology department. Slowly, slowly, 1920 onwards, excavation had been under the leadership of Daya Ram Sahani. So then, we started this one. When we have started these excavations, more than 2000 sites we have discovered. More than 2000 sites we have discovered. Some sites are very, very important because we are studying according to UPSC. Yes, the most important sites. More than 2000 sites, around 1400 sites in India. Okay, 1400 sites in India, rest in Pakistan and few, hardly one and two in Afghanistan. Hardly one and two are in Afghanistan. Okay. So, we have discovered, after discovering this thing, there is a question or query started, what is the date of this civilization? So, with the help of carbon dating 14, okay, we have discovered that the period is 1750 BC. It is basically, uh, otherwise the different, different historians are telling different, different period. But with the help of carbon dating 14, finally we have discussed all the historians were agree, yes, the civilization was existed between this one. Actually, the biggest problem in Harappa civilization is little written evidence. And the problem is, it is not decipher. That is why this is the problem. Otherwise, we can identify many things. And now, Archaeology Survey of India, now I am telling you how Archaeology Survey of India today working. Archaeology survey of not only uh, India, all the department of history, they are not working on past. What was happened in the, they are thinking about future. Because this planet is in great danger. Am I right or wrong? So, number one, we have to save this planet. Number two, we have to search another planet to, this is the two options. Okay. 
so we have discovered this thing now the question has been started ki what are the races what is the race in harappa civilization the race means see that we have so many races are there in india subcontinent okay so many races are there one is dravidian proto astralid mediterranean mongolid the different types of races we have okay different type of races still today in our country different types of races somewhere i will tell you ki yes is area mein log ye hai okay somewhere this one okay in race basically what are going to be major number 1 in race we are usually going to be major number 1 height okay number 2 facial expression facial okay in face number 1 position do you know by which thing we can judge nose number 3 forehead by these things we can judge so actually archaeologist have got many human skeletons at uh, arappan sites so on the basis of that one they said that mostly the peoples of harappa belong to which race dravidian they belong to this on the basis of bones and skeleton they they were basically dravidian okay dravidian okay dekho main present time i am telling you mediterranean mediterranean sea you know So, so many people see the two thing is not going to stop. Two thing is not going to stop. One is migration and immigration. Today we are living in Delhi, but it is not necessary. Future we will also live in Delhi. Maybe in India, maybe outside of India. Okay, and finally I will settle there. And many people are going to be settled there, sir. Okay, so migration and immigration is not going to be stop. Mediterranean peoples, do you know in which area still today living? I mean, they came from on the basis of their height, forehead, nose, and all these things. Punjab and Haryana area. You will see their height, sturdy body. Okay, so basically they were Mediterranean race, and they have settled slowly, slowly. It has taken thousand years. Some of the races I will tell you in coming chapters. Okay, so finally we have discovered that yes, they were maximum people from Dravidian. okay harappa civilization was the first urban civilization urban civilization means town planning is number one feature the town was well planned i said you one of the historian mr alchin british historian he said that these people were not from this planet definitely they came from other side and we do not know about that one see after just neolithic we were living in a stone age just enter in a very advanced phase very advanced the town was well planned if you'll see mohan jodado from the sky mohan jodado looks like a chess board it means definitely there is some architect and engineers one who is planning okay Harappa and Mohenjo-daro, the two prominent city, place highly managed, and both were the capital of this civilization. And do you know what is the distance between both city? Approx six hundred forty kilometer. So you will think, sir, how managed was it? Am I right or wrong? Today we have different type of resources, yes or no? So how they were managing? and well planned well planned so this is a big questions and after declining aparappa once again we went in village community like vedic age is a village they do not know bricks they do not know great bath they do not know uh, town planning okay they do not know different types of ornament making so this is a big question because progress should be gradual no progress should be gradual but here is no gradual after harappa declined 250 years gap 
ओके राइट डाउन हरप्पा सिविलाइजेशन इट इज ऑल्सो वेल नोन एज इट इज ऑल्सो वेल नोन एज इंडस वैली सिविलाइजेशन बिकॉज मोस्ट ऑफ द साइट्स आई विल गिव यू टूमारो वन मैप ऑल्सो रिलेटेड टू साइट्स राइट मोस्ट ऑफ द पीपल सिचुएटेड ऑन द बैंक ऑफ रिवर हाँ मोस्ट ऑफ द साइट सिचुएटेड ऑन द बैंक ऑफ रिवर इंडस रिवर सिचुएटेड ऑन द बैंक ऑफ इंडस रिवर और इट्स ट्रिब्यूटरी नेक्स्ट पॉइंट It is known as Harappa because this is the first site This is the first site where the civilization exist where the civilization discovered It is known as Harappa because this is the first site This is the first site where this civilization was discovered date write down date date is twenty three hundred to seventeen hundred fifty BC with the help of carbon dating fourteen. carbon dating 14 race write down race what are the races races dravidian protoastrolaid mediterranean mongolaid all type of races we have discovered but maximum peoples belong to dravid Dravid protoastrolaid A U S T R O I D protoastrolaid Mediterranean Mongolaid Mongolaid Now write down this year 1856. Right, like this. Eighteen fifty-six. No, firstly, write down eighteen twenty-six. Eighteen twenty-six, then eighteen fifty-six. Eighteen twenty-six. Charles Mason. Charles Mason was the first person. Charles Mason was the first person. to predict about this civilization to predict about this civilization eighteen fifty six Harappa ruins ah Harappa ruins अच्छा हाँ यू मस्ट राइट डाउन दैट सर जान मार्शल सर जान मार्शल हु एड गिवेन द नेम हरप्पा सर जान मार्शल गिवेन द नेम हरप्पा सिविलाइजेशन दिस नेम वॉज डिस गिवेन बाय सर जॉन मार्शल हाँ 
Charles Mason was the first person first person who predicted about this civilization eighteen fifty six Harappa ruins Harappa ruins were excavated were excavated the word which you are unable to write kindly tell me right were excavated to meet the demands of to meet the demands of bricks to lay railway line to lay lay to lay railway line demands of bricks to lay railway line between karachi and lahore between karachi and lahore it was during this digging it was during this digging the old civilization the old civilization was indicated was indicated next point write down note 1 note 2 note 3 like this way more than 2000 sites have been discovered more than 2000 sites discovered harappa covers the part of means in which area they are next point harappa covers the part of punjab टू पंजाब हरियाणा हरियाणा सिंध हरप्पा कवर्स द पार्ट ऑफ पंजाब हरियाणा सिंध बलूचिस्तान बलूचिस्तान गुजरात Rajasthan and some parts of UP some parts of UP I'm telling you the last boundary of Harappa in a, according to direction wise right it's very very important many times upsc has asked this north south east north side manda please write down north side is manda east alamgirpur Alamgirpur southern part Dhamabad Dhamabad is not only part of Jorbe culture but basically it belong to Harappa as well as Jorbe culture okay Harappa as well as Jorbe culture Dhamabad and western side Sukta Jendor,
Manda is situated on the bank of river Chenab. Alamgir is situated on the bank of river Indan. Daimabad is situated on the bank of river Godavari. See, this fact I have not said you there because it is going to be come here. That's why I said it. Godavari. It can ask in the PT. Daimabad, the site situated on the bank of river which? Or they can ask the site and they will ask the river's names. Sukti Jendor. Hmm. Sukti Jendor. River name is Dask. So, Manda is in JNK, Alamgirpur in Uttar Pradesh, Dhamabad in Maharashtra, and Sukta Jandor in Baluchistan. Okay. Task D A S K. In this chapter, everything is important. Ah, Maharashtra that have, we have already written now. Done. So these all four questions have been asked many times in UPSC PT exam. These are the extent boundary, last boundary of the site. If you will go to Kuchem, Jammu, Manda is the site. This is Alamgirpur, this is Dhamabha, this is Sukti Jandor. Okay. Now, in this chapter, we will one thing, we will discuss the characteristic. So, why it is known as urban? Write down. Characteristic of Harappa civilization. Characteristic of Harappa civilization. Number one, it was an urban civilization. It was an urban civilization. It was Bronze Age civilization. Bronze, B R O N G E. Bronze Age civilization. Civilization. Bronze Age Civilization. Third point, their town planning was excellent. Their town planning was excellent. We will discuss all the features one by one. Next. Their drainage system was excellent. Their drainage system was excellent. See, firstly, we will discuss all the important sites of Harappa. There are so many sites are there, but according to our purpose, we will learn the sites. Okay, uh, so many sites are there. Some sites I will tell you here, some sites few are in culture. Okay. Number one site, write down Harappa. River name and location. River Ravi. River is Ravi. Location. Mount Gomri District, Mount Gomri District of Punjab, Pakistan. 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 Evidences write down. What are the evidences we have discovered? 
आर वी हैव गॉट फ्रॉम हरप्पा नंबर वन वी हैव गॉट कॉपर चैरियट वी हैव गॉट वन ऑब्जेक्ट विच वॉज मेड बाई कॉपर एंड दैट वॉज इंडिकेटेड एज ए चैरियट तो नंबर वन राइट डाउन ऑब्जेक्ट कॉपर चैरियट नंबर टू डायरेक्ट ट्रेड रिलेशन विथ Yes, one student is asking, what do you mean by excavated? Excavated means that you know that you are going to dig very finely. There are two ways. There are two ways to excavate anything. Number one, horizontal. Another is vertical. Which is more easy? No, vertical. Vertical is easy. But once you will do vertical, no, all the things will be destroyed. so usually archaeologists followed the technique of horizontal layer by layer okay then you can save maximum product okay so excavation means this thing ha pakistan ha this punjab this punjab is in pakistan okay may be unification of india will take place in coming upsc this will be a chapter unification of partition of india we have done if bismarck and cavour can unify bismarck germany and cavour and magini and garibaldi to italy so it could be everything is possible okay so copper chariot another is second object direct trade relation with mesopotamia 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 means which country i have already said you egypt are bhi abhi to maine bataya tha parso mesopotamia oldest civilization of the world iraq मेसोपोटामिया बोले तो इराक ओके अर्सिया बोले तो ईरान लिख लो कहीं पे आप साइड में बिकॉज दिस थिंग विल कम अर्सिया ईरान ओके डायरेक्ट ट्रेड रिलेशन आई विल टेल यू हाउ दे वर डूइंग ट्रेड फाइव विस थिंग व्हाट इज द नेम ऑफ द पोर्ट हाउ दे वर डूइंग we were going to there they are coming to here okay another one more thing this is very important this object is very important h and r 37 symmetry right down symmetry you know what do you mean by symmetry graveyard disposing the dead body so basically this two name has been given by archaeologist then the question ask what is h h culture or h symmetry so basically the the place where they were disposing the dead body aaj bhi hum log aisa hi karte hain na ha but according to religion wise hindu different way muslim different way parsi different way christian different way am i right or wrong but we have made particular place ki bhaiya you are allowed to go there and then dispose the body, dead body you are not allowed ki metro kinare nikal li hai fir jala rahe hain and no no this is not allowed go there same as harappan people have also made some places where they were disposing the dead body and they are following the three technique that i will tell you later on ki what is the burial system of harappa civilization okay so these are the important things we have got from harappa next is mohan jodaro have you seen that movie who are the hero ye sab yaad rehta hai turant mohan jodaro mohan jodaro literally means 
माउंड ऑफ डेड जस्ट विनट माउंड ऑफ डेड एक्चुअली फ्रॉम दिस साइट वी हैव डिस्कवर्ड फोर्टी सिक्स ह्यूमन स्केल्टन्स एट वन प्लेस इट इज ए बिग क्वेश्चन फॉर द आर्कोलॉजिस्ट वट वॉज हैपेंड दे वर डाइड नेचुरली आर सम अदर रीजन यू नो आर्कोलॉजिस्ट वर टेलिंग दे हैव बीन मैसेकर्ड दे हैव बीन किल्ड दैट्स वाई दिस साइट इज नोन एज माउंड ऑफ डेड माउंड ऑफ डेड जस्ट मिनट इन ए सिंधी लैंग्वेज ए सिंधी लैंग्वेज ओके राइट डाउन रिवर रिवर नेम इंडस लोकेशन लरकाना डिस्ट्रिक्ट ऑफ सिंध पाकिस्तान निकिता जी बेसिकली एच एन आर इज ए बोरियल प्लेस बोरियल मीन्स वेयर दे वर डिस्पोजिंग द डेड बॉडी वेयर दे वर डिस्पोजिंग द डेड बॉडी हाउ दे वर डिस्पोजिंग द डेड बॉडी दैट आई विल टेल यू लेटर ऑन इन दिस चैप्टर ओनली लरकाना डिस्ट्रिक्ट ऑफ सिंध पाकिस्तान ओके एविडेंसेस नंबर वन वी हैव गॉट वन बिल्डिंग ईयर आई एम वेरी स्पेसिफिक बिल्डिंग अ यूनिक बिल्डिंग ईयर दैट इज द ग्रेट बाथ दिस नेम वॉज गिवेन बाई आर्कोलॉजिस्ट ओके टू दिस प्लेस आई विल डिस्कस यू अबाउट दिस ग्रेट बाथ इट वॉज हाईली ब्यूटिफुली मेड great quality is there still today it is existing okay but recently a flood came in pakistan so the mohan jodaro heavily damaged and already country is damaging economy age okay so how they will maintain sites okay we have got great bath from here i will discuss you this great bath in a features important buildings another thing we have got a bronze dancing girl we have got one object that is a bronze dancing girl okay we will also discuss about the metal it is showing that metallic knowledge of harappa civilization it is showing the art and artistic quality of the harappa civilization have you seen branch dancing girl it is in national museum original dance branch it is existing in national and branch dancing girl in a position of am i right or wrong it is indicating what another thing one is metallic knowledge another is art and artistic quality third is yes amusement music and yeah. still today we like even many dancers are famous than an is yes or no yes. they are more famous than us okay it is another showing status of dancing girl yes or no yes. good or bad yes today dancing girl status is very good that depends on status one who got movies high level one who did not get movie low level am i right or wrong even after becoming an is you will not get that type of status katrina kaif who are they dancer entertainer am i right or wrong they have no knowledge about indian history but status money yes or no it means that the harappans also have a the dancing girl has a since very early period to till now the dancing girl has a good status dancing girl has a good status okay acha what is the capital of this civilization right down anywhere harappa and mohan jodaro both are the capitals joint capital of this civilization acha capital how we are judging development of 
as a note. Some evidences are there, but later on. As a note, write down. Harappa and Mohan Jodaro Harappa and Mohan Jodaro were the joint capital of joint capital of this civilization. So, you know, on the basis of what they are telling capital, please see, Delhi is a capital, right? Mumbai is also well developed, yes or no? But wherever you will say more buildings are there comparatively that one, then administrative buildings are there, on that basis we can judge it also, yes or no? So, on that basis we are telling that in these two places maximum buildings are there, highly developed, that's why on the basis of this one they were telling. This means Harappa civilization. Another site, Lothal, might be you have heard this site. No, here I have said you know, here two later on many others are coming also. Lothal, it is known as Mini Harappa. Mini Harappa means it is as developed as Harappa, mini Harappa. As a city is known as mini Bombay. Very good. Number one city of India. Yes or no? Number one city. Yes or no? Yes, In clean lines. Yes or no? Yes, Number one city. Indoor way. Yes. 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 You must visit. It's a beautiful city. Ah, Mini Harappa. It is known as Mini Harappa. River right down. River is Bhogava. Okay, Bhogwa, location near Ahmedabad, near Ahmedabad, one more thing write down like this way, renowned, it was a renowned port, it was a renowned port. Evidence Evidence From here we have got Rice Husk Husk you know The upper, the upper layer of the paddy Yes or no? That is But earliest evidence of rice we have got from Koldi Hava if they question us that from where we have got the earliest evidence of husk, so which place? Lothal. Okay, Lothal. Second, direct trade relation with Mesopotamia and Persia. Direct trade relation with Mesopotamia and Persia. Mesopotamia and Persia. Okay, next. A game similar to, we have discovered one game here. We have found one game. A game similar to, fill in the blanks. Cricket. Yes, very good. A game similar to modern day chess. They are playing chess since that time period. Modern day chess. Fourth, this point is very important. An artificial dockyard. Dockyard means 
अरे भाई वेयर द शिप्स वर कमिंग स्टेइंग लोडिंग द गुड्स गोइंग टू बेसोपोटामिया अर्ली एन आर्टिफिशियल डॉक यार्ड आर्टिफिशियल डॉक यार्ड राइट ऑन वन मोर लाइन अबाउट इट इट इज द अर्लीएस्ट डॉक यार्ड इट इज द अर्लीएस्ट डॉक यार्ड मेड बाई ह्यूमन मेड बाई ह्यूमन बींग इन द होल वर्ल्ड made by human being in the whole world not only in india this is the first place where the human beings had made dockyard ships were coming coming goods are going to load going to mesopotamia and i will tell you the route by which route they are going also okay by which route they are going it means that definitely they have also knowledge about the high quality of making ships yes or no high quality of making ships so these are the important sites of uh, evidences of lothal okay next is what is the name tanhudado once again tanhudado repeat it tanhudado this site you will not forget 101% at any cost you are not going to forget this site river write down indus location sindh pakistan evidences evidences from here you know what evidences we have got lipstick evidence we have got from here we have got the lipstick evidence it is showing that the harappans have also the cosmetic knowledge they have a great knowledge of cosmetics the lipstick evidence we have got another thing i am telling you if you want the best quality of pottery if you want the best quality of ornament you have to go which place tanhudro is basically a kind of factory where all the goods are going to be manufactured right down anywhere tanhudro is like a kind of factory where all the goods are manufactured still today many places are famous for different different product yes or no jaipur ja rahe hai beta wo leke aana jaipur ja rahe ho na yes or no am i right or wrong if you are going delhi this product mumbai this thing indore this thing bhopal this thing so some places are particular are specified for some product for uh, for different goods for different goods goods means what type of here i am writing pottery beads i'll tell you what is beads ornaments ornaments means gold and silver jewelry this place is very famous for this and another quality you have already got what is the lipstick evidence yes or no yes or no next is surkotda surkotda river there is no river location north west of bhuj gujarat bhuj gujarat evidence A very unique evidence we have got from here, and it is very surprising for the historian also. Us, the animal was there, but they were asking 
Do the Harappan people know about this animal? Which animal? We have got bones of horses. Usually horse is going to be used for what purpose? Battles. Importance of the horse will increase when the battles will start. Otherwise, usually as a transport they were not using. If, suppose, if they are going to use as a transport, so why from one place? It should be discovered from many other places. But only one place we have discovered the bones of horses. It means the Harappans peoples were not frequently using the which animal? Horse. Because Harappan peoples were very loving people. They loved to each other. Very loved to each other. I will tell you their characteristic, how they were loving to each other and how we know this thing. Okay. So we have got a very specific place, Turkodada, the bones of horses. Next is Kali Banga. Kali Banga. Kali means black. And Banga means bangles. So we have got black bengals from here, that's why the site is known as Kali Banga. Okay. Write down river. Ghaggar. Location. Anuman district, Rajasthan. Anuman district, Rajasthan. Evidences. It is a very important site. Evidences. Number one. Seven fire altars. Fire altar, you know? We go religious places, temple or some places. So there is some platform was made for burning something. Yes or no? Aman ke liye, chadawa ke liye hota hai. That place is known as fire altars. Fire altar. So they have seven fire altars. It means the Harappan peoples also believe in such type of things. I will discuss your religious life of Harappa civilization later on. Okay, how they were believing, what was their belief system. Okay, fire altar. Next, we have got wooden furrow. Wooden furrow. Wooden furrow means you know. Haro, how to plow the field? By hal hal, you know hal. Okay, Faro means how to plow the field. It means that Harappan people should know perfectly about uh, plowing the field. And their furrow was made of which you think? Wood, not metal. Made by wood. Okay, it was made by wood. So, these are the two important characteristics of evidences of Fire altar means, have you visited any religious place? So, you go with some offering or without offering? With offering, which offering? Sweets. So, you, haan, malab, achha, do you burn something like camphor, agarbatti, wo bhi to jalate ho ge? To kaha jalate ho? Yes, that separate place is there, no? Maybe you are going to, that depends on person to person. कोई थोड़ा जलाता है, कोई ज़्यादा जलाता है, ये सुनो। That platform is known as fire altars. Okay, fire altar. अब तो हम लोग घर में भी खरीद लिए हैं ना कि वो 
हवन के लिए एक बना लिया है ये सुनो पहले होता था हवन ओपन कॉर्ट यार्ड में होता था ये सुनो ना वी आर परफॉर्मिंग इन ए रूम एंड वेरी इजिली ये सुनो नाउ मेनी पीपुल्स आर परफॉर्मिंग बाई टेक्नोलॉजी ये सुनो मोबाइल चला दिया हवन हो रहा है डाल रहे हैं राइट रॉन्ग ये सर नो द न्यू टेक्नोलॉजी इज कमिंग अरे भाई मेनी पीपल सर परफॉर्मिंग ऑनलाइन ये सर नो बाबा जी इज परफॉर्मिंग मंत्राज एंड ऑल दिस थिंग एंड द पीपल आर परफॉर्मिंग ये सर नो ऑनलाइन पूजा ये सर नो ये सर नो ऑनलाइन हवन इट इज अ रेवोल्यूशन No, I will tell you discuss this thing why it is happening. Roper, another site is Roper. River, Katlaj, location, Roop Nagar. पंजाब द सेम एविडेंस यू हैव टू राइट द सेम एविडेंस विच यू हैव गॉट फ्रॉम बुर्जा होम अ डोमेस्टिक डॉग वॉज बरीड अलॉन्ग विद द मास्टर राइट डॉन अ डोमेस्टिक डॉग एविडेंस द सेम एविडेंस विच वी हैव डिस्कवर्ड एट बुर्जा होम द सेम वी आर गेटिंग ही ऑल्सो अ डोमेस्टिक डॉग वॉज बरीड along with the master ab to kutto ka dukane khulne lagi hai sano clinic ho gaya hai sano pet clinics hai sano pet clinics are there food are there hai sano everything is ready to get see the this animal become vip hai sano yes or no another is rangpur रंगपुर रिवर भादर रंगपुर रिवर भादर इट इज लेट मी टेल यू ना लोकेशन देन लोकेशन नियर अहमदाबाद गुजरात It is basically very close to Lothal, thirty miles from Lothal. It is very close to Lothal, thirty miles from Lothal, on the bank of River Bhadar. That's why one evidence is very common to Lothal as well as Rangpur. One evidence is very common, and that evidence is. राइस हस्क वेरी गुड राइस हस्क राइस हस्क तो दीज आर द इंपॉर्टेंट साइट ऑफ हरप्पा सम ऑफ द साइट विल डिस्कस वेन आई विल टीच यू कल कैरेक्टरिस्टिक एंड देन इन कल्चर ओके वन थिंग इमीडिएटली मेक इट बिकॉज इट इज द रिक्वायरमेंट ऑफ यूपीएससी एंड दे आर फ्रीक्वेंटली क्वेश्चन रिलेटेड टू दिस मेक वन डायग्राम ओके साइट्स नेम रिवर नेम एंड लोकेशन वट एवर द साइट्स यू रिटर्न इन हरप्पा स्टार्ट फ्रॉम हरप्पा हरप्पा मोहनजो दाड़ो लोथल कालीबंगा रोपड़ रंगपुर ऑल जस्ट बाई सिंग योर कॉपी राइट डाउन इमीडिएटली हाँ मेक ए सेपरेट लिस्ट नो इन दूर कॉपी ओनली it will be add later on but that i will tell you later on enough 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 yes yes no mapping map i will give you tomorrow i'll give you one map tomorrow that i will give you yes if the question asks that firstly rais has discovered at which place so Lothal period. I am also telling you, although it is not important. Lothal site rice husk discovered in 
1850 BC. It means when the civilization was declining because 1750 it was declined. So the rice husk belong to this period. See whatever the sites we have discovered, some are pre Harappa, like Kali Banga. It is a pre Harappa as well as Harappa. Okay, some are pre Harappa, some are Harappa, and some are post Harappa. But post Harappa is very less. I will tell you, Alamgirpur is a post Harappan site. Okay. You see, I have not said you Alamgir detail. Alamgir, I will tell you in one place. Then location write down, river write down. Actually, many students confuse in the location. So, if it will be written at one place, by revision of your copy, you can learn. And it is very, very important. Done? So now I am repeating site, you tell the river, okay? Harappa, Mohanjodado, Lothal, Janodado, Turkotada, Kalibanga, Kalibanga, Ropad, Rangpur, Harappa. So please you are requested to learn all, till now. Now heading write down characteristic of Harappa civilization and firstly write down Town planning. Tomorrow I will tell you their town planning, their burial system, their religious life, their social life, everything I will tell you. And as well as we will discuss also why this civilization declined. Ah, heading right down town planning. We will discuss about town planning, bricks, great bath, branch, metallic knowledge, cosmetic knowledge, religious life, everything we will discuss. There is one question can be asked related to this chapter in mains examination also that I will tell you tomorrow. That can be asked in mains examination also. Okay. Thank you very much.